Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Awkward Showcase. So I was able to get my hands on a few loose packs of uh, Shiny Fates and I figured why not just open it in front of you guys and uh, just have a nice, easy, chill video. So that's what I'm going to do today, guys. So sit back, relax. This might be a long video, so enjoy. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's get started. Uh, I have 36 packs in front of me. Oh, 36. I mean 34 packs in front of me. That's almost a booster box. So... Hopefully we can pull the Charizard. Uh, and spoiler alert. There you go, guys. I was actually able to pull a Charizard. Well, not me, but my daughter was able to pull a, a Charizard, a shiny Charizard VMAX off camera. So I do have a Charizard. But I do want to open it on, uh, on camera for you guys. So, you know, having two Charizards is not going to hurt, right? <laughs> Ooh, Phalanx V and Zarude. That's a good first hit because I need this guy. All right. Yeah, so I've been opening up a few um, Shiny Fates packs off camera, and this one might be my last one, I think. <laughs> I think I've opened quite a few, and uh, I'm going to take a break. Oh, wow. I think to uh, speed up this um, video, I'm not going to do the card trick, so I'm just going to go right to the. Right through the packs, right to the um, rare card. And yeah, let me know down in the comments what your guys' luck has been with Shining Fates. I know people who pull one, two. Sorry about that, guys. Almost forgot. Pull one or two or three Shiny Charizard V Maxes and, uh, I pulled one. It looks really good. Whoa, Santa, Santa Scorch V and Dolmize V Max. Perfect. There you go. Energy over there. Yeah, I have um, a brother in law who was able to pull three Charizard V Maxes. So I call him um, the Charizard Whisperer now. <laughs> the Zard Whisperer now. Since he has three, we always joke around that, ooh, Thwacky, that he needs a uh, polymer, polymerization now to fuse his uh, Charizards. <laughs> so what do you guys think about this set so far? It's been out for about a month now. What do you guys think? Also, are you guys trying to uh, master this set? Because uh, so far, I don't think the cards are too expensive too. So if you were to buy, if you were if you were to buy singles, it won't be too bad. Energy, Cacnea. I can finally call quits on that set. That's an amazing set too, though, guys. Rotom, shiny, and Rillaboom. All right, not too bad, guys. So far, so good. I need, I want <laughs> a gold uh, Etern Eternatus V. I do have the Eternatus uh, V Max, but I do want the V. So that would be a nice card. I need a few more trainer cards too. Guzo. I think I need three more trainers. Rose. Rose. I need Rose. Ball guy, there you go. I need this guy. And who else? I need one more trainer card. I can't remember. Oh, bird keeper. I think that's it. Bird keeper. Grookie. More Peko. Spin rack. Buizo. Rowlet. No, no way! Whoa! No, I no, <laughs> no way. We did it, guys. We pulled the Charizard V Max on camera. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, guys. My heart is beating a thousand miles per second right now. 
Oh my gosh. We did it. We pulled. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, and it looks perfect. Oops, sorry about that, guys. No. No way. No, I can't believe it, guys. I'm sorry. I am sorry, guys. But we did it. We pulled another Charizard VMAX. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think this might be the last time I open up Shiny Face. Oh, my goodness. My heart, guys. Oh. Oh, okay. Gotta collect myself. Gotta collect myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what a crazy. Oh, Devo. Devo. Shiny. Oh, I'm shaking, guys. I'm shaking. <laughs> what an amazing opening, guys. Wow. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, guys. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's get back down to opening. <laughs> so, I'm ready for another one. <laughs> Imagine that, guys. Pulling another Charizard. But you know what? I am definitely, definitely happy with that one. You know what? If I don't ever pull another Charizard from this set, I am fine with that. Oh, man. Like, not just my hands, my heart, but, like, I have the tingly feeling in my legs. <laughs> like, I feel so light right now. That's how I'm feeling. Like, I can't even open these packs anymore. Wow. Rowlet. Oh, sorry, guys. Diddle V Max. And Ditto V with the uppercut from Street Fighter. Oh, you can. Oh, man. This is such a great opening, guys. <laughs> I'm loving every minute of it. I wonder, did I open that Charizard from a Charizard art pack? Curious now. Since I might start playing the the actual game of Pokemon, I feel kind of bad for just buying packs. And if I don't if I don't utilize it, what am I doing? You know? I mean, I love collecting. Well, I think I should really utilize the cards and play them. And if you guys play, if whoever's watching, if you guys are playing, oh, rookie, if you guys do play the game. Uh, feel free to, you know, help me out, you know, leave me some hints, some comments. I mean, I've been playing the game in like over two, five years. I used to play a little bit online, but I have no idea how to play anymore. It's been so long. i tell you the truth, I used to play a lot of uh, Magic the Gathering. That was really fun. I love the art. I love the mechanics. Frostmoth and Dreadnought. Of course, when I played, that was over 10 years ago. I was way too young to uh, buy any cards. <laughs> Just like Pokemon when I was younger, I wasn't able to afford it. And back then, I was I was when I started playing Magic, I was um uh, able to buy a few packs here and there, but. Like, I remember, I remember one of my uh, favorite time, my favorite moment of Magic the Gathering is going to the local car shop. And this one guy came in with a suitcase full of, like, 
cards. I was like, whoa. If you guys seen Yu-Gi-Oh, there's an episode where Kaiba, oh, there is Kaiba who always carries a briefcase of like, uh, Matt, a Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And seriously, that guy just came in, plopped his briefcase down on the table, opened up his case, and like, was like, whoa. Cards everywhere. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, I always enjoy going to like um, local car shops, just watching everybody play. I mean, I haven't yet. I want to though, but back then I used to do that. It was really fun and competitive. So if you guys, if you guys have played Magic the Gathering, what do you guys think? Compared to Pokemon, which do you prefer? I know there's also Yu-Gi-Oh, which uh, I used to watch the show a lot. But for some reason, I just can't get into playing it. Cinder Ace! Yes! I need this card. And indeed. I was just gonna say, it's been a while since I uh, got a shiny hit, so. Heck yeah. All right, so out of the blue, this story just came up in my head. That's popped up in my head when I was younger. And uh, I haven't told anybody before, but then I feel like I should share it with you guys <laughs> on how I kind of started Pokemon. So it was a long time ago, and Pokemon just started becoming popular. Well, on the Game Boy, at least. The games, like red, blue, and yellow came out. And at that time, I was really young. And I didn't own a Game Boy, so I uh, one day I remember waking up early in the morning, and I'm like, Mom, Dad, can you guys buy me a Game Boy so I can play Pokemon? And they're like, no. I'm like, why? I think at that time a Game Boy was around like 50 bucks. But, you know, 50 bucks was a lot back then. This was like back in like early 2000s, I think. Mid 2000s. But, yeah, they were like, no. And I was like, I remember asking them, begging them. And they were like, no. And I cried and cried and cried. So I, I got to the point where I was like, you know what, forget it, I will never play Pokemon, I will never get into it, you know, I have friends and family who are playing it, but you know, I guess I'll just go stick to playing with rocks and sticks again, you know. And then one day, I was sitting at home, and my sister comes home, her, uh, she and my mom went to the farm, ooh, Santa Scorch, shiny, I need that. Her and my parents, uh, she and my parents, ooh, Crobat VMAX, yes, went to the farm. And she came, she comes home and she's like, hey, come here, I got something to show you. I'm like, what? So she's like, close your eyes. I'm like, okay. And then she hands it in front of me and she says, open your eyes. I always like, look. And I'm like, no way. It was a yellow Pokemon Game Boy Color with Pokemon Yellow. Now that, oh my gosh, my. Oh man, that was one of the best feelings of my life right there. And I'm like, how did you find that? How did you get your hands on this? You're younger than me. And this is a story guys, okay? And before I start whoever, I feel really bad for this, but I'll tell you guys later. <laughs> so she told me, she says, she was at the farm and you know, my parents are doing their thing and there was like a lot of kids over there and she was just like, Tired, so she wanted to go. She wanted to walk to the car, and go take a nap. And as she was walking, she looked in the ground. There was just that Game Boy laying there on the ground in the grass, like it was calling her name, like "Pick me up, take me home." <laughs> so yeah, she sees it on the ground. She looks around. There's nobody around. So she picks it up. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Drop the pack. Oh no. So she picks it up, she puts it in the car, and she looks around, and nobody's there. So she's like, okay, I guess I'll take it. So yes, technically she stole it, okay. <laughs> so I feel really bad, because uh, I feel like maybe I might have taken somebody else's um, Pokemon dream, you know? Maybe that was, you know, that was their dream, you know? Their Pokemon dream. What started their... Pokemon and I took it and I feel really bad but I do I just want to thank them for um, giving me the opportunity you know to start my Pokemon journey 
Yeah, literally. So, if whoever you are, if you're watching this video for some reason and and this matches you, this sounds like it's you. If you lost a yellow Game Boy, um, Pikachu uh, Game Boy Color, and there's a yellow Pokemon Yellow in there, and if you think this is you, please reach out to me. And if you, ooh, you guys, we think, and if you provide me with the farm that you lost it in, and the city, state, town. And I could uh, prove that it's yours. I will gladly buy you uh, a Nintendo Switch to make up for that. Okay, guys? So if you're watching, reach out to me, okay? Because I know which farm it is. <laughs> I know which town it is. It's not. I don't live in that town anymore, but I know. So yeah, I do want to make it up for you. So I just want to say thank you for whoever... Uh, lost that and I hope it wasn't like your older brothers or sisters or somebody I hope you didn't get into big trouble because I would feel really bad yeah, that's that's pretty much my uh, my Pokemon journey right there and you're talking about cards yeah I, I saw I started like when I was like elementary school had a buddy moved in I mean, not moved in, moved to uh, my elementary school. Showed me, I swear he showed me a base set Charizard. And I have no idea if it was first edition, base set, unlimited, shadowless. I don't remember, but it was a Charizard. And I was like, whoa, I want that. But at that time, I was way too broke. I didn't have any money. I, I couldn't afford it. So I didn't really care much about it. And then, you know, I somehow accumulated some cards. Um... I remember uh, having a bunch of like Geodudes, Machoke, oh man Machoke, it looked so cool back then. Shanks, looks right. But yeah, maybe one day when I have another booster box opening, down to the last four packs, if I have another booster box opening, I'll uh, tell you guys about my worst trade I ever did. Oh, it still haunts me even now. This was like, like I, I was chipped, but I was too young to know. And even now, I'm still thinking about it. It's like, oh, I was so stupid. <laughs> have you guys had any, have any of those uh, moments where you guys traded away a card and regretted it like later? Yeah, let me know down in the comments, guys. Cagnia. Whoa, Riot V. What? Look at that. Upside down, Cramorant and his twin brother. Three packs. You know what? We'll save this pack last. That Charizard. Imagine we pull another one, guys. That'd be crazy. Crazy. It's late right now, so if we pull another one, I swear I'm gonna run upstairs and wake up my wife. <laughs> I almost did with that first one. But they had to calm down because my kids were sleeping. More packs. Ooh. Oh, there we go, guys. Bump the cards, there they go, Avalanche. Go along with this Avalanche. Nick it. You beat me a trainer. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? Speaking about that, I didn't get any trainers in this 32 packs. In these 32 packs. That's crazy. What's going on? Well, you know what? I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Seems like I'm complaining, but I'm not. Thing. I swear we saw this guy like every pack. Look at that. Passing gas and just looking suspicious. Rookie. More Petco. Can we get a hit? Let's get a shiny, guys. Oh! oh we got the shiny! That gold Eternus V that I was talking about! Oh, man! Wow. Beautiful. And a Cinder Ace V. I love this opening. <laughs> wow. 
Ow. You know, got that tingly feeling. Baby. Things are tingly. Way too excited. All right, guys. Last pack. You know, even if you don't get anything from this pack, I am satisfied. And like I said, this may be my last shiny face pack for quite a while, guys. So if you're watching, thank you for watching through this whole video with me and, you know, listening to my Pokemon journey. My Pokemon, uh, how I started playing Pokemon, you know. And just for that, you guys get the code card. Here you go, guys. Enjoy. Let me know what you guys get in the online game, right? We'll do the code trick. The code trick. The, uh, the trick. There. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fire energy. Fire energy, guys. Let's go. Wacky. Where's the sword? Hold on. Cost of fluid. Cacnium. Come on, let's get a shiny, right? Shiny or a full art trainer. Chudo. Eevee. Alright, guys. Ooh, naked. Alright, I think this is it. This is it. Ooh, Grisno VMAX. Yes, I don't have him. I will take him. I will take him. And Del <laughs> Delmas V. Yes, I don't have him. Or did I pull him earlier? I don't know. But these packs are crazy. Banger packs. So crazy. All right, guys, stick around. We're gonna do a recap, right? Be right back. All right, recap time, guys. Let's go. Pull the diddle. Greedent V. Cinderace V. Awesome card. Delmise V. You know, in this uh, opening, the wacky baby shiny. I feel like I pulled so many cards that I needed that I don't have. Especially the V Maxes and the Full Arts. Rotom. Awesome Sand Scorch. Pulte guys. Pulte guys. I just found out that the Pokemon is not the teacup. The tea. Um kettle. What do you call it now? It's that thing in there. This guy. <laughs> Cinderace. I love this card. It looks so cool. Alright, we're getting to the full arts now. Sand Scorch V. Phalanx V. We got the Delmise V Max. Awesome. We got the Shiny Diddle V Max. Love this card. Love it. Love it. We got the Crobat V Max. Put that on this card over here. Grim Snarl V Max. The Karate Move. Oh, yeah. And then Eternatus Gold. V Max, oh V Max, <laughs> Eternatus V Gold, amazing card. And guys, you know it. Last but not least, the amazing Charizard V Max. Wow, I'm so happy to share this moment with you guys. Uh, to pull this card in front of you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's it for today, guys. If you like what you saw today, feel free to hit the thumbs up, right? You guys have a wonderful day, and oh, make sure to leave some comments down below, you know. I like to read stuff. <laughs> have a wonderful day, guys. Later.